how to boost your social networks for increasing your success and your happiness. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nesto from Attaboy Cowboy. On this channel, we give you health and wealth tips to help you be more successful. Now today I'm filming in New Orleans, Louisiana. We just finished Mardi Gras. It's been a spectacular week. And I just wanted to give you some tips on how to improve your social networks. I was talking with some of my friends over here, some of my families, and they were telling me, dude, how do I meet really successful people or mentors or people that could teach me stuff to make my life a little better. I thought, you know, that's a, that's a good question. In general, people are good, right? So anything you do where you're socializing, in my opinion, is gonna make you more successful, make you happier. Just in general, people are socializing less because they're spending more time on cell phones, you know, watching TV at home, etc. So just try to get out and join social groups, like going to church, or in my case, I'm a Mason. Being a Freemason has really helped me. That's a worldwide fraternity. And it's helped me because I go hang out there Thursday nights, you know, we eat pizza, we eat lots of food, we hang out, we talk. And it's just a bunch of good men. And the people you hang out with, just remember this, you are the average of the five people that you most hang out with. So if you're hanging out with people that are unhappy or doing things that are not real cooth, or they're just wasting their time or whatever, it's gonna rub off on you. You want to hang out with people that are motivated, that are excited, that are happy, that are good, honest people. When I go to my Mason meetings, just as an example, I hang out with people that are from like 18 years old up to like 80 years old. And these are men of integrity, honor. You know, we don't talk about like banging girls or <laughs> things like that, or smoking pot or whatever. We talk about good stuff. Like, hey buddy, how you doing? They start telling me about their lives, about their businesses. You know, some are movie producers, some are real estate developers, and they talk about how they conduct things. And I learn things because I want to live a good life. I want to be an ethical person. I want to be as honorable and as honest as I can. And if I hang out with good men, I'm going to be a better man, right? None of us are perfect. We all have our flaws, but that's what we're doing in this process of being a human being, just trying to improve ourselves. And if you live or hang out with people that are good examples, you're going to be a better person. You're going to be happier and you're going to be more successful because you're, you're, going to, you're going to know how to do things better. And one interesting thing I, I've learned is that, for example, my really good friend, his name's Frank, he's a real estate developer. He does all this cool stuff and he takes me to his properties. He tours me around. He shows me how he does stuff. And I've never done any of this stuff. I've done other things in real estate, but not what he does. And seeing him doing it and understanding him as a person really motivates me it gives me confidence and it makes me think hey man this guy's so cool and he could do this i could do it so he gives me confidence and i'm actually learning a lot I'm hanging out with my friend mike johnstone who's a real estate broker just i can name a lot of people i don't want to name all of them right now but these people have really helped me be more productive and be more happy in my life and reach higher levels of of, of success and maybe i didn't think i'd be able to because I associated myself with good people. I'm not looking for contacts. And sometimes I hear people say, oh, that guy's a good contact. No, I don't do that. That's not nice. You hang out with people just because you want to hang out with people because you think they're cool. That's why I do it. If, if you hang out with anybody, even if you hang out with some homeless dude that's down your street, that guy is going to teach you something cool that you probably didn't know. So no matter who you are and who you hang out with, as long as you have an open mind, and you're willing to learn, you're gonna pick up stuff and you're gonna be better at whatever you do in your life. So that's the main thing is just being open-minded, not judging people saying, oh, that guy drives like an old car. You'd be surprised. Some of my friends are really wealthy and really successful. They drive really old beat up cars like I do. I have a car that's been crashed twice by other people. It's a salvage. It actually got stolen and they stole the doors off it. <laughs> I bought it and I had to put the doors back on it. So. You, never, you can't judge a book by its cover. Another thing you wanna do is invest in your community. The deeper the roots in your community, the happier you're gonna be, the more people you're gonna meet, and the more successful you're gonna be. Lay down some roots, go volunteer, 
Nothing impresses me more than when I go to the La Brea Tar Pits, which I list in my travel book as one of the top 10 museums in the world. And I go in there and I just see all these selfless people there volunteering, digging through fossils on the microscopes and stuff. I mean, that is so cool. They teach you how to do this anthropology work, you know, archaeology work. I mean, it's awesome. And they're volunteers and they're ad adding to science. Go volunteer in a museum, volunteer in Meals on Wheels, become a basketball coach. I used to be a volunteer basketball and a baseball coach. Those were some of the most fruitful times of my life. I really had a good time working with those kids. And a lot of those young men, they didn't have fathers. And they would just look at me like, wow. And they would just ask me a million questions. And I realized like, wow, it's really important the way I conduct myself, the way I act, the way I speak. I couldn't, I can't use like, not that I use a lot of foul language, but I gotta watch what I say because these guys are watching everything I do. I'd see them just copying me. I'd be teaching, I'd see them start using my words. I mean, I was like, whoa, I'm really having a big impact. So you can have a big influence on the, on the world just by simple things. I mean, I was just hanging out, these boys teaching them how to play basketball, which I love. So do some service. Um, if you have your own children, of course your time might be limited. Sign your own kids up in, in you know, basketball or football or swimming and go coach your kids and their friends. And that's gonna really give you some um, time to reflect and think and give back to your community. It's gonna increase your happiness in your life. It's gonna build your social network and you're gonna have a lot more success. So thank you for listening. And from New Orleans, Louisiana, this is Dr. Ernesto Martinez, goodbye.